Hey, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Uh, today, I'm back from travels and going to go over real quick how you can stay productive at home. So we're going to have a brief overview of some tips, and then over the coming weeks, we're going to kind of dive into some more details. Um, so real quick, if you like seeing the full post and you want more than just the video, um, go to www.productivity.academy and click on the Join Now button. All right, and that's how you can get up to date. I just send out regular updates once uh, the site has been updated. So head on over there. But like I was saying, um, you know, I've been on the road and talking more about how to stay productive and get things done uh, while you're traveling. And in that kind of mindset, it's more important usually that, you know, you're really careful with your time and you batch tasks and you kind of do a triage and like get rid of the really unimportant stuff or the less important stuff. So once you're back home, um, and this could equally well apply to maybe in the office uh, for myself, as you can see behind me, I'm at home, I'm back at the computer. Um, and there's a few things I really take advantage of that really help me. So as so I look at my list here that I made before, so the big ones uh, that I believe in that I'm going to dive into uh, a little bit more, like I said, over the coming weeks, uh, but using timing, right? Whether you break it up by the hour, uh, you know, you use like a Pomodoro technique, which um, is actually on the blog. I'll have to find that. But, uh, you know, use some sort of timing to keep yourself on task. If you... Um, do your daily planning, which would be another topic here. You sit down and say, you know, just it could be the back of the envelope or you could have a day timer or something like that. And you say, okay, here's the you know main things I want to get done today. Then try to stick to that and really set yourself a time limit. Um, and what this will do, one, it'll make you more productive during that time period. And two, it'll keep you from having tasks run on too long when you know you've got a whole, you know, laundry list of things to get done. So, for example, let's say you have four main tasks. And so it's worth five minutes at the beginning of your day to say, okay, how long should this take me? You know, not everything is equal and not everything is of equal importance. So you can prioritize and then give yourself uh, how long you think that's going to take and then go with that. Uh, myself, I like to do like 25 kind of minute stints and then I'll get up for like five minutes and go do something else. Okay. And then, but that may not work for you. Maybe you do 45 minutes or an hour. Uh, but the idea is to know that there's, you know, that background timer going and when, you know, you either need to finish it up or you need to get up and take a break when you're done for a couple minutes and then come back to it and do another one. All right, which leads me into the next one, which is taking breaks and actual breaks for meals and snacks. Or if you're doing um, like the Pomodoro, you're doing 25 or 30 minutes at a time, you need to actually like I physically get up and do something else. Um, you know, if you're working at a computer, this can be really good to prevent fatigue. Uh, if you're sitting, obviously this is good. And even if you're uh, doing physical activities, stopping, taking a couple minutes, doing something else can um, help you prevent fatigue in many ways. And it's just going to make you uh, better when you sit back down. All right. So that that's a good one. Um, planning your day, kind of already went over that. That's a big one I harp on a lot, but just taking even five minutes, usually it's more like 10 or 15. But if you have five minutes and you can sit down and just list out what your day is going to look like um, and try to prioritize that, and the kind of, and then it, the next step would be if you can assign a rough time to each one of the major tasks, that's going to really pay off for you. You just got to get in the habit of doing that every single day. All right. Um, and that's about it. Those are the major topics. So like I said, we're going to be talking uh, about that more over the next coming weeks. So if you're interested in that, by all means, stay tuned. Um, if not, or if you're more on the road, you can check out the stuff uh, I've been posting over the last couple of weeks while I was traveling. So like I said, if you're interested in staying up to date on all this stuff and you want a little bit more than just the videos, I've got the full post on the website, you can head over to www.productivity.academy and click on the Join Now button. Awesome. I'll see you next week.